first of all, I think your analysis was very straight line. The street doesn't run in a straight line. Kid, you cannot tell your neighbor he is stealing ducks when you are stealing phones. As High Commissioner, I was wrong. As Charandas Prasad, I reacted naturally how any person would have. I did not come here for food for that kind of food. I did not come here for that kind of abuse. If you're going to go along that road, I'll walk off. But it's all okay once they're talking. If they were talking, I could not have been here today. You got AD and ADHD. I got Calm down, calm down. I think I've done enough in terms of taking our team um, out of trouble from losing. Come on, Lord Taylor. You got, you got screwed. I'm reading the script now, and the first person that comes to my mind to play a detective, yes, but an erratic detective, Mickey Rodriguez. Why you not freaking supper in young? Why a man and supper woman? Look, you deal with that. You deal with that. We must encourage platforms like this because it brings together different people and allows for discussions. To, to take place in our country on a multiplicity of fundamental issues. Uh, KW, you apologizing for no, something no, 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 you no, think no. I did is wrong. I don't no, no. want you to do that and you should not have done that. You're watching the Geldavi Freddy Kisun Show. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good day to wherever you are, based on different time zones. This is the Geldavi Freddy Kisun Show. We come to you three times in the week at 8.30 in the evenings, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We have now entered the 13th month of this program, and one of the persons who appeared very early on this program almost a year ago is here this evening. We have made it a policy that those people who came here and graced our studio without thinking whether this new show, why should I go on it? I don't know if it will be um, penetrating, if it will get marketability. They came, stuck, stuck it out for one hour and they have made this program a success. We have a few more persons who've been here to um, invite. One of them will be here on Monday. Our guest this evening is someone I will use an adjective to describe, and I think he will use that adjective to describe me. In fact, I once saw a program a few months ago in which he called me a madman. But that is all right, that, that happens. I've known him a long time and no hard feelings. Um, I don't know if I should say he's, he's mad. I don't think he's mad. But he's as controversial as anyone in Guyana. One of the leading persons in the current PNC hierarchy. Or to put it another way, one of the persons that is quite known as a PNC parliamentarian and a PNC executive. Our guest this evening is... Ganesh Mahipal, Member of Parliament for the Opposition PNC. Ganesh, thanks for being here. And as usual, to your left is my co-host, Leonard Gildari. Um, Leonard will come in with whatever he, he has to say. So I will turn over to him and then I'll come back to you with my first question. Thank you very much, dear Freddy Kisuna. I want to say welcome to our guest, uh, Parliamentary Ganesh Mahipal. Uh, today. Um, uh, good evening, folks, wherever you are. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Gildari Freddy Kisuna show here. A um, couple of things really bothered me, and I raised a little early, and Freddy Kisuna wants to know how relevant it is. But if you're a diehard Guyanese like me, you would understand certain things you just don't tolerate. Freddy Kisun, today, before I come to that, today, you know, uh, India walked into the West. It is a two for one week today. 
You were paying attention? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Unbelievable. Um, I didn't even watch it, but um, I was following some of the score there. But it was a time everybody used to be scared of the mighty West Indies, but, but that was so long ago, 30 years back. It seems as if we had nobody... But why are you wants... bringing that up? They lost to one of the great cricketing nations of the world, which is expected. They lost Not to, to be they beaten lost, so badly. They, it seems as if there's no energy. They lost to people. the Netherlands. They lost to Scotland. If you, if you, if you are playing a big, very powerful cricketing nation, you understand the Marlin. But they lost to Scotland, uh, it's Netherlands. Still, it still it still rubs you the wrong way. Um, and uh, and of course. I came in here, I was I had a very tough day working and I, I didn't have lunch. I went into this restaurant and I said I wanted to get a quick Chinese. And would you believe it, Freddie Kisun and Ganesh? I tell them I make, I want pepper. And you know those guys give me hot sauce that was imported into this country that was so sour. I got so upset. I put on the food, I put two spoons and left right there. Told Freddie Kisun about it a little early. And Freddie Kisun, how relevant is it? Ganesh Freddie Kisun, we Guyanese. Freddie Kisun, we like our pepper. If he knows the you things. You don't like that, Chai. If he Ganesh. knows the things that I see every day. Anyway, um, they give the man some sour sauce <laughs> and said that. So, but let's get into the program now and put Ganesh Mahipal, to use Gedari's word, in the hot seat. I don't know if the seat is up. <laughs> My first question to Ganesh is personalized and personal. When he came here a year ago, I personally vouched for what I knew of a certain uh, action at UG. He had borrowed some money, it became controversial, and I said in the program that he had paid back the money to UG. I subsequently found out that he didn't, the um, vice president, um, made an announcement to that. Well, Ganesh, I would think for the sake of your political credibility, you should pay back UG the money, man. I, I don't know. Who, I don't know what angle you're going with there because the, no, that's what that's. But what, because I you're back because money, no. a controversial figure and a man who has a track record of lying to this country said on his press conference that I did not, which you just said. That means I didn't. You have records at the University of Guyana. You have people at the University of Guyana. But why would he say you that? You can now? go and verify. You can Google on your computer when you sit there and you type in Ganesh Mahipal and UGSS and the finances, whatever, and you will see the Starbrook News story where it is said that the money was paid back. So why you keep but believing? He will him no. This so he, look, he, he has access to information that we don't. But that, the does, man not was the it, president that does not mean at the time he, that he's, he's, a, he's a vice president. You don't think somebody would have given him information that look, one of the things I think you would agree, and Gildar agree, when you reach to the stage where we have reached, we are known public figures. People you know get information about you, people dig up. Surely the vice president is in receipt of vast set of information. The man is the vice president. Just out of the blue, he would say, you didn't pay back the money? Before Jack Dio and you became so good in bed, there were a number of ill things he spoke about you. And that doesn't mean that it was true. I but didn't believe it because the, I knew you I, then. I, I, I am asking. I knew you then. I am asking. I am telling you that the money was paid back. The money was never stolen. The money was borrowed. So Jack Dio is lying, but you are not lying. I'm, te well, I'm telling you that the money was paid back, the money was borrowed, and it was paid back. Guyanese should believe you and not believe the vice president. <laughs> Freddie, if you want to verify that information, you have credible resource that you can turn to at the University of Guyana. You don't have to believe uh, me, if, um, nor do you have to believe uh, your best friend, Jack Dio. If the, um, if the uh, money is not paid back, are you going to tender your resignation? Yes. If the money is not paid yes. back? Yes. Tender resignation to what? From, I want to be very clear. So, so there's two things I learned out of this whole conversation. No, but I don't know. The whole I don't know the relevance uh, to it. There's two funny. things that I learned. I mean, the 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 he he said, you said president. to him that he's in bed with Jack D. I didn't hear you. I know. He could say <laughs> what <laughs> <put> it, <laughs> he could say <laughs> that. <laughs> but you said you're resigning. Say, what are you resigning from? He could say the what party or from Parliament? Which one do you want me to resign from? 
I is not what I want. <laughs> you, you are it's putting what the, I want. You are if your it, credibility listen, has been damaged. The money has been paid back. I'm saying that to you. It was borrowed and it was paid back. I laid this to rest a number of times. Jack Dio brought it up. It suddenly became very relevant to Freddie Kisoon. I don't know why. Because you're sitting here now and you're being interviewed. But you are why should we not take... Gildari is a long-standing journalist. That is our job, for example. I will give way to Gildari, and then I'm going to come with a question, if it's not in Gildari's mind before. So, you have to face these things. Listen, you are a member of parliament. You're the shadow minister for local government. You sit in an opposition party that won over 200,000 votes in the last election. We have to ask you questions. We All have right. To. Let me get Let, straight this, into the question. Hold on. This is the guy in a chronicle. UGS as president, we pay his 800,000 used for personal expenses. What year? 4th of June 2013. So if you want, if, if that, 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 now, now that let me say this to you. That doesn't mean. Uh, let me say this to you that, now. That reporting that is, could be. In, this oh, is, okay, listen. I was a listen, PNC. Hold on, listen, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, listen to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is that that report may not necessarily be true. Listen. <laughs> I but Jack Dio is true. I never said, no, I never said Jack Dio. But Jack Dio is true. I never said Jack Dio is true. Listen I never said Jack Dio. I said, I asked you what Jack Dio said. You said he's lying. I think viewers, therefore, could say, and that's what I'm saying, why is Ganesh not lying to? <laughs> I don't me. know if Ganesh, I don't know what Ganesh, if it's true or not, I don't know if Jack, what Jack will say is true or not. That's uh, uh, my listen position. To listen to me now. But you say you to had, me, Freddie, well, you, you, believe you, me or not. No, 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 I'm not say. saying you, I don't want you to believe me or not. You, just you say, asked me a question, I answered it. You asked me if it was paid back, I said yes, but I'm telling you, I have been a PNCR member since 2008. In 2013, the guy in the Chronicle carried that story, yeah. which is a, which at that time was closely aligned to the People's Progressive Party, as is now. You know, but you came and started off yeah. with that particular item, because for that, whatever reason. Because that is in the news. For whatever you in the news which which that, part of the news is it right now? It, the vice president, unless you... Unless you do, you believe? Unless you didn't, make, unless you have just dismissed him Freddy, as vice uh, president, hold on, hold on. he's a vice president of the country. Do you believe? In any journalistic situation, a vice president saying something about a parliamentarian that journalist is not worth a thought if he this way is it? Let me ask you anyway, this. Now. Let me ask anyway, you this. listen. No, hold on, hold on. No, no. No, you're not allowed to do that, Freddie. Uh, do you believe? Do, do you believe yeah. that Jack Dio was making deals in his living room with Sue? If I believe you, yes. If you believe he was doing that, I am not. When you have a credible tape out there from Vice News, where it is alleged that uh, Sue handles all the contracts and all the communications, and that uh, Sue would visit Jack Dio in his living room, and whoever he wants to favor. It is being pref it is being handled by Sue in his living room. Do you believe that? Even though you have taking into account that you have well, knowing you video evidence. No, no, knowing did you. Did you see the video? No, evidence? no, no, no. Listen, you did you are, see the video listen, evidence? Knowing you, if you think you're going to entrap me, <laughs> then I'm sorry. No, no. Hear what you do. Here is a man asking me all of these things, and when he was here, he did not know that one of the major political players in this country and the son-in-law of the then president issued a cataclysmic, phenomenal, <laughs> hair-raising <laughs> statement twice about the rigging of the 2020 election. And then when we asked you, you said, I can't recall that. I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with what... Um, uh, he said, well, I will give you a dose of your own medicine. I'm not familiar with the Sioux tape. Um, <laughs> All right, thank you very much. So now that we've heard the bantering of that, I want to bring um, bring your attention, um, Mr. Mahipal, to another tape that surfaces sometime back. And then we're going to talk about some other tapes in a, in a little while. There was a tape that surfaced that purportedly had your voice and uh, a lawyer within the PNCR. Roysdale Ford. Roysdale Ford, attorney at law, Roysdale Ford. I think he's senior counsel, right? Yeah. And I don't, uh, I don't know. Purportedly, yeah, he's a senior purportedly you and him were discussing the performance of the opposition leader, um, Abby Norton. 
with Marceline. Yes, was that your voice on the tape? I'm not sure. We we at no point in time had any conversation discussing the performance of the leader of the opposition. What were you discussing? I know that there is a there is a tape that came out with a conversation between myself, Royce Dale Ford, and Fayaz Morseline, the former That's treasurer. Mm. And the origin of that tape came about with Fayaz Morseline calling me and he was telling me all of these things mm -hmm. and uh, in so doing i said to him that what you're saying here requires legal guidance mm -hmm. and i will need to ensure that it is kept for the record and that is how i ended up bringing roisdale onto the call i notified roisdale that this is being kept for record sake mm -hmm. and fayaz morseline was also well informed about that that is the recorded conversation that we had. That recorded conversation was subsequently sent to the Central Executive Committee of the People's National Congress Reform, after which it made its way into the public domain. My follow-up question, therefore, Mr. Mahipal, is that after you would have had a chance to listen back to that tape, I'm sure you would have had your public figure, and I, I'm bound to ask you this, could the public out there conclude that there was the that they could conclude that the the, the question about Mr. Aubrey Norton uh, capacity as a leader of the opposition and as the PNC are that that was brought into question or raised and concerns were expressed by yourself or Mr. Rising Ford? No, no concern, no opinion, no. Mm -hmm. A uh, matter of conclusion was drawn on Mr. Norton mm -hmm. from Ganesh Mahipal and Rysdale Ford. Fayaz Morseline, to the best of my recollection, went on to make allegations to which he was asking for advice and that was given to him. Well, then my... my, my and then I, 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 should, I should go a little forward and say to you, that this matter was discussed extensively at the central executive committee level of the party and Fayaz Morseline resigned his position as treasurer of the party and he went his merry way if I may put it that way was it as a result of the tape or because of the discussion that they had? I don't know what was the reason for his resignation he resigned before we met as a CEC and when we met as a CEC, we had discussions, and I know that uh, what he, he, the, the allegations he made, I know that those allegations were looked at. I'm not sure what was, I didn't attend the last three CECs because I wasn't around, and I sent in excuses. But in the upcoming CEC, I will get my minutes and so on, mm -hmm. and I will be brought up to speed. But I do know that the, the allegations that he made were to be uh, not in. I, I don't want to say investigated, but they were to be examined. Uh, there, there was um, just a follow-up yeah. last question on the, along this line here. There is going to be elections later this year at the level of the Congress. Am I, am I correct, or it's scheduled to be held? Well, I want to say to you that that decision lies with the Central Executive Committee of the party, and if the Central Executive Committee of the party um, sees it fit, considering all the variables, uh -huh. uh, it can happen. Uh, what I do know is that constitutionally it's due in December of this year, December of 2023, our Congress, uh, but that decision lies with the Central Executive Committee, and if the General Council meets, the General Council will decide for them. Hence my, 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 my question. Um, your name has been bandied as, as a possible leader of the PNCR. Could I ask you what are your opinion as to the performance of Aubrey Norton? Well, I am a leader of the PNCR. I one of the that. leaders. One, one, of, of, one of the many leaders of the PNCR. And um, I believe that collectively, the People's National Congress reform remains a very relevant force to reckon with in this country. 
I believe our opponent, our main opponent, the People's Progressive Party, is well or fay with the risk they put themselves at when it comes to being examined by the People's National Congress reform. And I believe that we have on the forefront withstood the test of time and we have stayed the course in exposing the heinous natures of the people. You're not answering progressive the progressive party. I was about to say that. If I may. But <laughs> I am not before, finished. No, but okay. um, I am not finished. Okay, he asked. And we are led by Aubrey Norton, who has been elected to the leadership of the party, to the leader, office of the leader of the party. And we are led by him in this fight against the People's Progressive Party. And I believe that together with Comrade Aubrey Norton as our leader, Sherwin Holders, our chairman, and all the other officers, we are doing a pretty good job at exposing the people's uh, progressive um, party. Let me, um, I will come back to that, but you, I was listening when you spoke about the sequence of events with the tape, and I want to believe that somewhere there, there is some either fiction or distortion. Let me see if I get it right. The nation, and I think this thing was all over, you and Royce Dale Ford and Fayez Marceline talking about the gist of the conversation with, was Marceline's emanations that checks are be, he's asked to sign checks without relevant information being provided him. Now you are saying, you just told Gildari that that telephone conversation hit the media, hit the airways be after it was presented to the Central Executive Committee. Now, Gagavi may come in here if um, he thinks I, 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 I got it wrong. So are you telling me that the Central Committee of the PNC heard a conversation between three, the, the um, three top names in the PNC in which it didn't look good, in which the chairman is complaining to two, the, the, the treasurer is complaining to two high-level PNC leaders about what Norton is doing. And he's saying clearly what Norton was asking for and what he has to do was improper. And then the Central Committee is responsible for releasing that um, phone call. You just said it hit the air because it was presented to the Central Committee. Gildari, just correct me. Why would the Central Committee make that public? It's a very damaging conversation. All right. So let, let, me, let me say this to you, Freddie Kisun. This is politics. And you, have, uh, having been in the field of politics for a number of years, would know. 55. 55 years in politics. It wasn't a PNC or a AFC or a WPA person that said to this nation and leaked the information about Air and Ali's qualification. It came from within the PPP. No, no, you, you think... It came from no, within no. the PPP. You Listen, are not going to you, get... No, no. No, but you have no, to no. understand You're what I'm saying. You are not going to get away with that. Get away with uh, what? With, get away with... Get away with Irfan Ali and his qualification? No, get away with you... That somebody no, from the PPP told us about his qualification? You trying to undermine Norton to a three-way conversation. No, but you, can, you can draw... I am asking you now. No, you, no, 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 you no. can't be... I am telling you now, we are not <laughs> going to go nowhere in this program if you intend to make Gildari and I uh, 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 disrespect Gildari and I. I am asking you a question that is based on an answer you give to Gildari, that the conversation was taken to the central executive and that is how it was released. I humbly suggest to you that your orphan alley thing it's not relevant. That is your, what, so, your okay, opinion. That we, okay. That is your opinion okay, and we you're will entitled bring that, to it. Okay. We will, but, I am saying okay. to you that this is politics. I what submitted politics? I submitted the recording to the Central Executive Committee for them to hear what is it that Marceline was complaining about. How it reached in the public domain, I don't know. No, you said and I'm saying really, to you when I we, say that this is politics, you keep, you keep interrupting me. I'm yeah. your guest. But, um, I came here at the behest yeah, yeah, of yeah, your invitation. Yeah, but you have to and respect, I am have respecting to respect you when you ask your questions. 
the only fair thing to do as a man who has been in politics for 55 years is to respect me when I'm proffering my answer. And, and, and I'm saying and to you... And the journalist should not interject I'm saying when to you, you're going out, of course. But you are concluding that on your own opinion. You said that you have a program go, go on, here where your viewership go on, will draw the part. conclusion, not you. You have your opinion. You can't draw the conclusion. You ask me a no, question but I could ask you, and I'm giving you an answer. I could tell you that now, let me come back to what I'm saying about this being politics. When the information came out about Irfan Ali and his qualification and that university no, that no, he attended, no, no. I am going it to, is somebody I am from the PBT that released you. it. Um, you're not going to seek refuge. I'm not you're seeking not going refuge. To see refuge. But Mr. <laughs> Kisun, Mr. Gildami, I am the guest. If you are the guest, you're supposed to behave intelligently. And you're supposed to ask intelligent things. Well, then we're not going to get to it. But we can't allow a guest. When we ask the guests about Barbados and CARICOM, the guests say, well, you know, Jamaica in 19, we were asking you about Barbados. Let me tell you something. So we were asking you I want about you to understand tape. something. We were asking you about the tape. Let me make this very clear to you on your program. Before I decided to come here from the first time I was here one year ago, I paid attention to about four or five programs that you had. And I told you this earlier. And before I came here tonight, I paid attention to four or five programs you had before too. And I am telling you that your presence tonight is very, very clear in comparison to how you treated four programs before. Because four is what I watched. And I know that you came here with a personal agenda. And you're free to continue it. But I am making my point very clear to you. I am a politician. I've been in politics for a number of years. And information how they got into the public domain surrounding that tape perhaps is no different from how Irfan Ali's qualification came to the public for. It is politics. People have their own agenda. People have their own ways and means of seeking attention. And I can't stop that. Irfan Ali's I, qualification not, was released by a PPP. And I can only I, conclude that, of course, that tape may have been released by a PNC was, because it was I circulated saying, to the CEC no, members. I was calling your attention to the fact that you said it was released. And I said to you, by this the is politics. Committee. You said you don't know how it was released. But let me, I don't want to take away your time. You're the guest, and I can see that. But, Thank you. But... The way in the world, the past 200 years, the past 100 years, the past 50 years, an interviewer doesn't have a certain style and a certain approach based on the type of guest they have. Now, the four persons that you have looked at, maybe it's not as controversial <laughs> and maybe it's not as deceptive <laughs> And your, maybe, your opinion and again. maybe is not <laughs> your opinion as, again. Um, <laughs> maybe is not as overtly ambitious in conspiracies as you. Therefore, it, hello, is not Jack Dio sitting they, in this? Therefore, room? is that your best friend are you Jack Dio sitting here? Hello, is uh, Ganesh uh, Mahipal? Uh, uh, are you going to let me finish? I don't know if you're seeing Jack Dio's image, uh, but you gonna look clear for you. I know you're gonna that's your Ganesh. strategy. And what it's you, not Jack Dio what you sit down here to do? <laughs> is to bring in extraneous matters <laughs> and make me the center of attention like you told me the last time that I'm being paid by Jack Dio. And I, I still um, maintain that. Right. right. And I, I still maintain that. And I that. found out, I found out who is paying you. Who's and, paying me? <laughs> and what, you, you laugh at that. I, I have to laugh at it because yeah, you are coming, you are coming I all know. around. Right. But you with all come, your, no, but all you your come, assumptions. But you are not coming all around. So I have to you, laugh you, at You are not coming all around. People are laughing at you when they hear you say that Jack Dio is paying me. But you find, <laughs> you find it strange when I say I know a certain Jack external Dio, agency is paying you that, thing really that could get know. you into legal trouble. That thing really hard you know, to know in the US you have to register as a foreign agent. <laughs> You're, you're laughing. I'm laughing, laughing. because so who's one year ago, who's paying you? One so year who's ago, paying you? one year ago, no, no. I made a comment, and it seems to have bothered no, you that entire bother, year. No, it doesn't bother me. You it seems think, to have no, bothered no. you that entire year. It doesn't year. bother me. Give me the opportunity. No, it bothered you because no, you well, keep repeating well, you, that's it. That's your opinion. It bothered it, you. No, why am I repeating it? It's to show your deception. And I've already showed your deception here. Anyway, I think... Where you want me to remember about Sue Tape, but you didn't know 
what the president's son in law said. Anyway, over to it, it feels as though we're going Let back. It feels as though we're going back one year. Over ago. To I'm here for a new oh, program oh, and I will appreciate new questions. Are, oh, I'll appreciate new questions. I don't know if we, I have, should, we have a uh, set of new yeah, yeah. issues still on the I don't border. know if I should say this whether it's appropriate, but I, I I think it just come to my head and I just say it. I just feel like a side chick to this. <laughs> <laughs> but coming back. Um, I, but but I must to, apologize to Freddie. Um I must apologize for hurting your feelings over the Jack Dio paying you. <laughs> Situation. I maintain that I still believe he does, but I'm apologizing because it seems as though it has really affected you. Thank you. you so think my I'm apologies. Gonna, I respect Gadari, so I'm not going to reply to that. Gadari, yeah, over to you. Uh, Mr. Mahi Paul, uh, your name surfaced in the. I saw it. Um, you were accused of writing the initial statement of that uh, person who accused. Former Minister um, Nigel Daram uh, Lal, um, and you seem to have orchestrated the, that accusation against him. And he put so in I want fictional to start things. That. I want to start he with put that. In fiction. What role, I know what you put in there. What role, if any, you want me did to you tell play? You what you put in? Uh, Trey, hold on. Yeah. What role, if any, did you play you in know, that scenario? I really and truly came here under the belief that I would have been answering questions relating to my portfolio as shadow minister it's a comment of, of local government and regional much. development. So I hope that we get there. But let me just clear the air on that matter. It was a Thursday night. Yes, a Thursday night. I was looking at Bench Cop Radio 107.1 FM and Bench Cop broke a story that implicated Nigel Daramlal accusing him to have allegedly raped a 16-year-old child and other accusations. And I, that's, the, that's when I first saw it. The Friday morning, Bench Cop Radio again, he had another program and he repeated what he said the Thursday night. And subsequent to that, I think it was the Friday afternoon, uh, a letter surfaced or a statement surfaced from the commander of the division of Region 2, where a particular line captured my attention that said, at no time, and this was the girl relating to the commander, at no time did I say anything to Ganesh Mahipal or any other person of the opposition. And that strikes me because I have never had any interaction with the young lady. I have never had any interaction with anybody directly concerning these allegations of this young lady. It came to my attention the very same way it came to many other people's attention. And I, as a politician, as a father, and as a member of parliament, joined with my other colleagues in um, protesting for action to be taken by His Excellency with an intent to ensure that justice is served. And that is where I participated. That is to the level of which I'm involved in that matter. Mr. Mahipal, whether that I'm not is, I'm not Mr. Uh -huh. Whether that is believable to your public or to both of you is less of my concern. What I know is that that is factual and that is the truth to the matter. You're the shadow minister of um, local government, no, am I uh, correct? Uh, yes. Um, I want to ask you, the DPP made a decision and subsequently um, uh, the president says uh, the, the, um, as far as he's concerned, the process was, uh, was um, every, everything was followed and he was proud of that and he's also very protective of the ladies and, and, and children of the society of this country. I want to ask you if you agreed, and if not, why not? How could they go ahead with, uh, with uh, going against Nigel Damlal in the absence of the virtual complainant and her statement? Listen, I don't believe Irfan Ali's statement that he is very concerned for children and women. And if evidence to show that that can be very, very far from the truth, what he said there, is the fact that he has Barry Ramsaran sitting in the National Assembly. There is a video recording of Barry Ramsaran saying that he would get his ladies to strip and slap a reporter, journalist, Charlena Najir, 
if that's the right pronunciation of our name. And Barry Ramsran is sitting in Parliament as an MP. There is a videotape recording on YouTube where Kwame McCoy is heard to have allegedly been um, soliciting sexual favors from a minor. Ben Schkopp walked around this entire Georgetown playing that tape with that 14 year old child and uh, and Kwame Pro, yes, allegedly. Uh, Kwame McCoy and that 14 year old child. I think the child's, uh, the, the popular name was Julius. And Irfan has him sitting as a member of parliament. There are other allegations. There was one against uh, this, this MP from Region 9 for the PPP. Um, what is his name? Alistair Charlie. There is a there is the parliamentary secretary from over the river. No, you have um, to allow me. Yeah. Um, because if the president is going to stand or sit in front of national television and tell us that he cares for children and women, and these are the figures that he has around him, Varshini Singh, Jack Dio's former wife, there are a number of things that she related I would like to in the public like domain. Well, in. you guys charge a lot to the minister and never come. I you, know, but, but, but you, you, you ask me a question, no, right, right, Gildari. I just want to, you just said to me, no, ask me, hold on, Freddy. No. You ask me, but Gildari you, asked you me, hold on. Time to answer, no, answer but Gildari question? asked me a question. Okay. But could you and Gildari's could you... question is whether I believe what, what the president said in terms of the system working uh -huh. and in terms of him having uh, the greatest of respect for women and children and I'm answering you to say that I don't believe him because when you look at the figures that he has sitting in the National Assembly representing his government as members of parliament, that statement is nothing else but far okay, from Mr. the Mr. Mr. Mayipo, no, but he didn't Mr. answer. Uh, Freddy, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a crucial point. That He's here. not going to I, answer I'm, No, no, I'm going to ask a question directly because I, I think you have spoken about uh, uh, President Ali. The question I'm asking you, the DPP ruled and the matter went back to the police. That was the question. In essence, what I'm asking you, How there was still a lot charged? of people called, calling for something else to be done. Now, but that's it, a matter for legal mind. No, no, but I'm asking I'm you. I'm not a lawyer. How could you go forward I saw there? lawyers do proffering. With, do, do you agree with that? All right, let me put it this yeah. way. I saw lawyers proffering the opinion that he can still be charged what on the basis thought? that uh, the DPP had sufficient information to lay charges. I saw, I saw some other lawyers saying that private criminal charges can also be filed. And uh, I am not sure because I'm not a legal mind. I by no way have any qualifications in law. And uh, I don't know what is the course. But my position on the matter is that in order for justice to be served, when it comes to these kinds of accusations, the best way to get it done is through the court system. Ah. And the court will have to determine. But how are you going to go to court can, in can I, I No, but if the, lawyers, if the lawyers are saying that private criminal charges are possible, and if another set of lawyers are saying that... The but DPP, who's going to be the virtual guy? Who's going to be the complainant? But you see, this is a matter of oh, alleged yeah, rape. Right. This is not a matter of... This is not a matter of simple larceny or a matter of anything that you can just pull out from. Rape is a, an act that is... A very personal act. Not only personal, but it is an act of... You see, if, if you allow something like this to have to go to move on without any further action, and mindful again, I'm not a lawyer, uh -huh. but if you allow things like this to move on, it means that it can happen again and again and again, and the virtual con complainant out of perhaps shame, perhaps ridicule, perhaps pressure, perhaps uh, societal peer pressure and all of these things, can decide to pull out. But that doesn't mean that it never um, happens. If the act happened, it is the court who must determine whether it happened or not. Can, can, can I, I, can I, 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 can I get I to the question? No, but I don't yeah, know. I'm, I'm not a lawyer. Question, yeah. I'm not a lawyer. No. He asked you, your name was called, and you said you know nothing, you don't know why your name is called. I am now putting it to you. They, the alleged victim spoke to the police. The police took her to Mr. Dyron Lad's home. She spoke to two NGOs, and she spoke to Child Protection Agency. And I am putting it to you that one of the reasons, one of the reasons why that case became invalid 
is because you were the person. She named you as the person. Now, we're not going to get anywhere with this because this can't. But I am saying to you, from what I know, you, that young lady named you as the person who originally wrote the statement that was supposed to go to the president. And the contention was what was in that statement was a figment of your imagination. In other words, you manipulated the young lady by putting things into that statement that were fictional. I am saying to you that what you just told Gildari is not true. You were intimately involved in the writing of that statement. And that statement, the young lady has said that to the two NGOs, to the um, police, and to the Child Protection Agency. Now, all of that is not true? I'm saying that that is not true. All of that is not true? Not true. Well, can we move on now? You were saying this thing should, ha if, the, if, the, if the police or the DPP don't break the rule of law, don't violate traditional police and legal thing, this thing could happen over and over again. So on the basis that this thing could happen, we got to stop it. The DPP must charge a man based on a statement a fictional statement that you wrote and that was subsequently retracted. I am going to make this very clear to you again. What you are saying is not true. And what you are attempting to say I did is not true. If I am sitting here in front of you and you are putting something to me and I'm telling you it is not true. Why do you keep holding on to that, Freddie? What is your real motive here you, you with me, a PNC person? You, you have never treated any PBB person like this before on the uh, program. Are you ready? I have said to you umpteen times that those allegations are not true. You ask a lengthy question, I said it's not true. You come back now and you're saying that is a, fig, a fig, what a figment of my imagination. I am telling you I had no communication with the young lady. I don't know the young lady. I have had no communication. One time ever in my entire life, I have been to Tapakuma. And it was when I was in secondary school and I walked from Anna Regina to Tapakuma Lake and back. That is the only time I've had no interaction with the young lady, Freddie. I don't know how I can get that information in your head. I don't know if I have to cut across the skin and inject it. I had no communication with the young lady. And you need to stop trying to convince your pop, your viewership and others as though you have some evidence to support that. Bring your evidence. Do you want me to answer that? Yeah, question? bring your... I, no, I want you to bring your evidence. Because you said just now, and you kept harping as though I had any communication. Bring your evidence, comrade. Don't continue to go down this line. I understand you're bitter with the AP and you. I understand why you're bitter uh, with you them too. You want me to answer the question? But you must remember, I as I what, said to I you... I know what I have seen. As I have said I know to you. what I was well, told. bring you what you were been, told. You have been implicated. Well, why, why is it that they people? don't... They, listen to me, Freddie. The, can, the matter is closed. Listen How to me. How are you going to bring that evidence? You were telling me something that you heard. Not heard. You said nine jobs. No, uh, okay. Said, oh, that's what I, he was told. Okay. Said he saw what Freddie said heard. that's what he was told. Yeah, but um, he said he saw something. And he uh, said he saw something that I was. Um, yeah, but he said that's what he heard. But, and I am telling him a hundred and one uh, time I've heard that he's being paid by Jack Deal okay. to do what he's doing. Why? And that hurt him. No, that didn't hurt me. Because but, one year after I said it, Ganesh he Mahi came Paul. back here with it Ganesh again. Mahi Paul, you can we move the local Ganesh government? Mahi, you wrote a statement that was supposed to be sent to the president. I did not which, write anything, Freddy um, The young lady has implicated you. I did not you. write the anything. The young lady has implicated you. I am you. telling you. Uh, so you know, you know what I she said? I am telling you, Freddie. You know what she said? No, I don't. 
Garnish my I fault. do not I have know. been taught to five years in journalism. And you seem I have to have gone nowhere with it. I know. I have a, well, you could say what you want. I have access to people. Garnish you my need hippo. to get access to credible people, Freddy. Garnish my hippo. You need to step out you of your PPP been, footwear and you, get access to credible people. My you You're involving been, yourself you with too many people that are not credible. You have been implicated. Step in, out of the PPP. You have been implicated in manipulating. You're damaging your own self after Listen, such a wonderful you, you, career at the University of Guyana. After 50 how many hippo. years in public life? At the latter part that, of your life, you're damaging you know what you have established. You know how many times I've Step heard out of it, Freddy. It step means out of anything it. to me. Step out of it. You have been I'm implicated. I'm saying to you, step out and of it. And I think, I think, if the, I think this matter may not be over. You perhaps may be charged. Well, it. let them do what they have to you perhaps do. Perhaps may be charged. If there are going to be political cases on it, then they have to prove what they're going to say. That young, I am saying to you that I have had no communication with the young lady. You know? And I say that with the clearest of conscience. Well, well but I, I am asking you. I don't know if you I'm asking you. I don't know if you are the man. I'm asking you. Hold on. Get, get the evidence. Freddie, and, listen. Um, hold no, on, no. Hold on, Freddie. The young lady is going to make yeah. a statement in a few months to come. A few months? To, you know all of that? He's going to be wow. big Freddie is going to be big Oh, Freddie, you know, you know about the soup. latter you part of your soup. life should be spent Man, with listen, honesty listen, listen, and people of listen, credible. You know how much of Stop that I heard in my life? Stop it. I am telling you. Step out of this young lady. Step out of this zone of propaganda that you seem that to have. That young lady is going to damage your political in. career. And you should take what I'm about to say seriously. This matter, I can't take what this, you're saying seriously. This, this, with, basis. this matter with you and what you wrote there that created a storm in this country <laughs> is going to come back to haunt you. I know what I know. I am saying. Gerdavi knows what he knows. You know, I started. He's quiet here. You don't think he knows? You don't think he knows you. about your role? We are journalists. You know about my role? You know about my role? I am. Listen, hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on. I started reading Freddy Kisun's articles in the you Kaito newspaper. You see, he's going to carry on like this. In 2007. And he's not going to allow you to ask a question. And you Could know, you allow most, the man of to ask writings, questions? most of his writings. Could you wrote, allow the man to ask questions? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Could you allow the man? That is his strategy, Gedali. <laughs> ask him your question. Ask him your question. All right, all right, Most of his stories were on Sakhi Yosar's death. And I found it very, very interesting. Don't but now I'm beginning to question everything that Freddy is, has ever that written is a strategy. based on he how he's on and on. All right, gentlemen, gentlemen. Right. Answer the man's question. The, I answered all his uh, questions. Answer the know. man's question. The side chick is not here. The side man is going to come <laughs> back into the conversation. So let's get to the conversation, the people's business. Um, on the issue of a tape, there was a recent conversation. I think it was a, a what appeared or purported to be uh, excerpt of a WhatsApp conversation asking somebody to send naked photographs to you. Was that Ganesh Mahi Paul? No, that was not. And in fact, I responded to it on my social media page where I pointed out and showed the evidence to support that this is clearly something that was made up. Mm -hmm. It was clearly an act of distraction politics from what was the real issue. And at the time, the real issue was the allegations of Dharam Lal having uh, allegedly raped the 16-year-old. And I think it was a matter of distraction. It never bothered me because I know it had no truth in it. And subsequent to when I noticed mine wasn't picking up, I saw them bringing out something sinister in the same mode about Sherrod Duncan. And that, in, that also didn't pick up because people are not stupid, Gildari, in this technological age. We all have smartphones, with the exception of Freddie Kisun, and we all know how easy it is to manipulate conversations and so on. You have two phones there. You know how easy it is. And it is clear that that was a makeup uh, situation to basically distract from the real issue. It just didn't work. The vice president and the PPP in government uh, said, uh, and this is an, not an issue, that the local government election, they've made enormous strides in the area that is traditionally uh, belongs to the PNCR, Bartico, Pleasance, a uh, couple of other places. Uh, when they look at the figures, it tells them that they have done extremely well. You have figures there. What does your figure do? Yeah, well, I, I, I did a detailed analysis. I'm not sure if Freddie did it also. But I did a detailed analysis, and I honestly came here with the um, thinking 
that most of our discussion well, was surrounded. Well, this show here, um, uh, go like that. No, pretty no, nice no, 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 but I, I didn't but, attempt to dictate how your show <laughs> no, should no, go. Okay. I said I'm coming here as a guest. I didn't ask any one of you about questions. I didn't ask you anyone. I came you prepared to ask me answer. questions also, but I, I asked on the program, not off the program. Danish, go on. And listen to me. Go on with your fix, When you look at these numbers, and I'm sure Freddie would love For to have, a, out there, have a, a view of it too. What are the bottom lines of those figures? When you look, look, this is the, this is the, I'm going to show show you first of all the grand total in the 2018 results and freddie if you look here this is the people's this is the apnu figure this is the total accumulated vote in 2018 and this is their total accumulated and vote for the people out there, what in 2023. 20, in 2018, the total accumulated vote for the APNU was 69,802 votes. And for the PPP, it was 123,130 votes. In 2023, the PNC or the APNU increased from 69,802 to 75,871. And but you're seeing yeah, it. No, I'm, seeing, I'm showing you, I'm showing you. Excuse me, excuse me. These excuse are the me, figures. Excuse me. Just, just a minute. Just a minute for our viewers. I am seeing this thing that Ganesh Mahipal brought. I am seeing nothing that is printed from GCOM. I am seeing something that Ganesh Mahipal brought. And I want to say to you, Ganesh Mahipal, this is Ganesh Mahipal's figures. This is Ganesh Mahipal's imagination. This is Ganesh <laughs> Mahipal's fiction. Listen to me. Yeah. Listen bring, to me, bring, the great defender credible, of the PPP. Incredible. Listen to me, the great it's defender it's of the PPP. It's no, 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 but I'm saying, what I'm saying uh -huh. is that factual. What I have here it's your are the numbers you think you're try that, that with GCOM. Me? No, well, let, well, let me exclude you because no, you no, are already convinced. No, no, no. You're don't already convinced do, that you're best. Don't do that best. to my co-host. You are already this convinced. This is nonsense. You are this already convinced. You are already convinced. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, listen oh to me, Gary. I have These a are Where accumulated numbers uh -huh. from all the local authority areas, as GCOM would have declared. GCOM declared for Port. Kaituma, Matthews Ridge, APNU 511. Uh, hold, hold, hold on. Uh, that is not GCOM thing. The, no, these is, are GCOM no, numbers. It's not. MP, uh, hold on, hold on. Freddie, I'm, Freddy, I'm, Freddy, I'm, Freddy, I'm, I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it right. Freddie Kizuru is a right. special case. I'm going to bring it right in context. Am I? Hold on, I'm gentlemen. I'm a special case. You can't. I'm a special case. I don't. I'm not a love you to few of you. Right. But ask, ask you Jack Newman his numbers. You concocted this. Listen, listen, no, but I love this. No, 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 no. MP, look, look, look. I'm going to give you. You see all these. All these, you see all these numbers that I've had. That's right? that's these that's are right? numbers where the PPP oh have decreased in their votes. No, no, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not talking about. I, I'm oh talking my goodness, Freddie, hold on. I'm gonna put this up publicly, my oh goodness. You, you can never. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Freddy, put it up. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. New Amsterdam PPP went up. Linden seats went up. George Chong seats went up. Yes. Bartika went to the PPP. Yes. Well, Madia too. Uh -huh. Madia. So, but that is not local government election alone. Explicit. There were eighty local government elections in this country, and that is what Freddie you did tries to did, manipulate. Your party with. did not there contest eighty. In <laughs> there are eighty local this guy government is a, areas in this country. This 80. guy. He this guy come to this program and that is, that is to not, fool that people. Is not, that is not wrong what And you saying. know what he says? But listen, of that that he's talking about, there are people who party, like for Region 3. Region 3, I can tell you, Wakenham contested, and Wakenham people ask us not to contest there, that they want to contest as the Wakenham Community Development Association. Don't come with Wakenham. I know Wakenham good. Freddie, um, listen, Danish listen, Mahipal. you might learn something. Uh, no, no. The Wakenham uh, Community I may learn. Development Council. Were you Council. capable of learning anything? That is what they participated as. Wakenham Community Council, their, their symbol was a bat. Parika contested as Parika Mora 
Development Council, Hague Blankenburg, which is then I'm still, they contested as Hague Blankenburg Community Development Group. They had the light bulb as their symbol. Two flood potential, they contested as, um, I can't remember the name, but they had the sugar cane as their symbol. What the point I am making with this is to say to you that local government elections are never about PNC and PPP. Any grouping of people in a community or in a constituency that wishes to contest can do so. And that is what they have done. So this whole hallabaloo that Jack Dio is coming to the public and saying that they have won the local government elections, if he wants to nationalize it and centralize it as though it was a battle between the PNC and the PPP, then fine, let him do what he wants to do. Who's go who are gullible like Freddie will want to believe him? Fine. But I know... That the facts remain of that there are, 80, Nobody else knows. there are 80 local authority areas and in each one of those local authority areas they had elections. I know for a fact that in 2018 at the Mora, Parika PPP got 1,202 votes. And in this recent election they got 1,181, a decrease. I know that Stuartville, Cornelia, either they had a decrease. I know Best Klein Podrine was a decrease. I know that Anna Regina, a township that they controlled... So there was a decrease. Where there was a decrease. Hold on. What? I know that all these areas that I've marked off here, a number of markings, as you can see, is a decrease in their votes. Now, take this into PNC? consideration. In 2018, the PPP was in opposition. And they did not have at their disposal the amount of resource that they have expended in these 2023 elections that they had in 2018. They didn't have the same. At no time in 2018 were planes being chartered, like how the PPP chartered planes to move around this country for local, local government elections. The PPP, Jack Dio said it himself, that their ministers were literally out of their ministerial office to focus on local government elections. Jack Dio said that. He said after the local government election, or three or four days after then they returned back to office. The point I'm making, Gildari, is that the expenditure, the investment that Jack Dio pushed and his, the PPP pushed in the local government elections, what they got as their return is not what they expected. Well, and and when Christopher Jones said, when Christopher Jones said, that had they gotten the returns they were looking for, that we would have had a snap elections on the 18th of December. It wasn't a date that was pulled out of thin air. These, it was a date that came from the queen, central, these people the queen central queen executive, the executive of the PNP stronghold. The central George executive of the PNP. Yes, six to I'm not saying no. More. I'm not saying no to that. No. Oh, but there's a, the reason that why, there's a reason put, why. Don't put the George Shunk in here. Freddy, look the George. Something is here. Put Don't on your spectacles. George, something. Put on your spectacles. No, how we can be here? Look the George. Some numbers are here. The George. Some numbers are here. This is the APNU number. This is the PPP number. This is the 2023 votes. The, the, no, 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 no. What the PPP? What the PPP got in 2018? You you can't find that. I'm showing. No, 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 no. The, so there is the, an increase. So the, oh, oh, the, I'm oh, not oh, disputing oh, that. Oh, what increase? The votes increase. The, the, but uh, but uh, as they as they the increase there. Yes. Uh, anyway. But Freddie, I'm, I'm not here. I'm not here. Listen, you can focus on George Chung alone if you want. But you see these areas I, here. I, you George see these areas to, here. George you see, to, to yes, understand but you him. see these areas here. But, Mora, Parika, Stewartville, Cornelia, Ida, Pesclain, Podrine. All of these areas here are strongholds of the PPP. Look at Corrie. But look in your. Look at, no, look here. Look here. Don't tell Rose Hall is a PPP area. Rose Hall is a stronghold PPP. Look what at are you? What are you? What are you? What are you saying? The Why people are... in the strongholds of the PPP have recognized who the PPP really is. But how much, and the oh, decrease okay. here and, and then is a, the decrease the, here the PPP, is an indication the PPP's of that. PPP's increased. Why, Jack, do you not tell you? Yeah, but listen. Anyway, look. Um, you can focus look, on the PPP. You got, can focus on the APN. Um, you and PPP and George. We got two minutes But there's more. a reason why Jack, you would not we release a two. statistics like this, you know. We could get there's anybody can get why, some speaker. Go and get it. Anybody can get it. Don't take my copy. Don't take my copy. What? No, because what we would 
couldn't get from GCOM is this that you concocted. <laughs> I was prepared. Listen, I Alison, know you. I was prepared for you tonight. Yeah, I know. I could see I that. I was prepared for you I tonight. I could see that you were because, paid extra. Yeah, because... Yeah, Daniel paid yes. you extra for tonight. You got double tonight. Right. You didn't get the standard I know fee. Jack you got Dose. double. But why is Jack Because Dose, you told him Jack, I'm coming. Why is Jack Dose paying you me? You told him I'm coming, Why right? Jack Dose paying <laughs> me? The police is paying attention to you. <laughs> let them and pay you will know in another few months. Them, when month, that young... When month. that young lady... Tell me the real when that young lady gives me which a, when that young lady <laughs> gives a statement about listen, how you manipulated all. My anyway, friend, Gildari, my friend, I know that stop. you were paid <laughs> by the PVP, <laughs> and I know you were paid double overtime for tonight. I yeah. came knowing that, you and know, I expected you know, this from you. People are laughing you. I feel like you believe so. People are laughing you when you're not me. But what you, know what you did. <laughs> What you did, you tried to mask and make it look likely about your role in manipulating that to yeah, You could continue that with that. Thing. If that makes it, you I'm sleep at you, night, that, if that, that will make lady, you sleep tonight, then you believe that so. That young okay. lady is going to damage your political career. In your, in your analysis, the, the, the overall numbers drop compared to the last election. The PBP numbers? No, 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 no. I'm talking the turnout. The percentage? Uh -huh. Because in your, your closing statements here, very quickly. He hasn't well, got that. Well, well, you see, he the numbers that, that we have here is uh, the total number of electors was 53,178. Um, the PPP got 107,000. The APNU 75,000. That's how these figures are here. I mean, I understand that. No, do you That's not for the local government here? in 2020. This is the local government. No, that cannot be. This is the local government elections in 2023. These are the results for APNU in total, right? In total uh -huh. region 1 to 10. And this is PPP. This is APNU. In 2018... You're saying the P P PNC increase. In 2018, this is the results here. Remember so we don't know... In AFC, yeah, we don't know if the figures would have dropped in 2023 compared to 20, the last one. In terms of the total number of voters? Yes. Well, I, I didn't have the total of number. Course, because, of you know, what but I'm about to ask you, we got to go, we got to go. Uh, 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 you're closing, uh, you're closing very quickly. Closing but yeah. but all you go. have to do is add these two. No, no, no. What, 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 we what, what go. I want to say is very quickly that you you should be able to say as a minister, um, the, the shadow minister of local government, are you happy that you've done enough that, uh, that would have seen that people don't have any kind of respect for the local government election because it cannot be that you have a lower turnout, especially with all the resources. We need we need to educate okay. our people um, more. I have to make an announcement, Ganesh. We got to go just quickly. Yeah, we need just to quickly. do more. We have, to, we have to uh, do more for local government election. People need to understand more about local government election and we have to sensitize okay. them more for it. Uh, okay. Um, For our viewers, I just want to put something on the screen here. It's called Army Intervention in the 1973 Elections in Guyana. Um, in that election, two persons were shot in number 64 quarantine. A young man named Jagan Parmesal and Bolinard Parmanand. The children of Bo Bolinard Parmanand were very, very young when he was killed in 1973. Sunday marks the 50th anniversary of his death. There will be a special program on Tuesday to interview three of his children who came in here from the 50th anniversary. If you're on Facebook, please announce that there is a special, special program on Tuesday to interview the three children of Bolinard Parmanand, who was shot 50 years ago trying to stop the army from taking the ballot boxes in the 1973 election. So please circulate the news that we're here on Monday, we're here on Wednesday, we're here on Friday, but there's a special uh, edition of this program on Tuesday in which three children of Bolinard Parmanand will come here and talk about the what happened when their father was killed and how they survived to be in their 60s and 70s today. So thanks for being with us. Our guest was Ganesh Mahipal in the usual. A lot of heat and a lot of energy. We'll see you on Monday. And don't forget, there is a special program on Tuesday. Thanks for being with us. On behalf of Gildari, I will say bye-bye. Catch you later.